going to begin some multi step equations now by looking at equations with variable terms on both sides, meaning both sides of the equal sign. The section in your book is section 1.5, and the reading and examples start on page 40. I'm going to work through six examples right now, and three of these examples are in the reading part of your book. So you can read the examples worked out in your book after you watch this video and try the examples with me and compare how we show our work to the way it's shown in the book. This first example, 7K equals 4K plus 15. What I want you to notice here is we have the equals, right, in the middle of the equation. It's 7K, a variable term on one side, and 4K on the other. I want to point out that there are no like terms on the same side of the equals. If there were, we would combine those like terms first. But we do have two like terms on opposite sides of the equals. When like terms are on opposite sides of the equals, you have to use opposite operations to get them together. So the 7K and the 4K need to be on the same side. It doesn't matter if your variable is on the left or on the right, and you should make a decision early on which way you want it to be. So right now I'm looking at this, and since there are no other constants on the side with the 7K, I'm going to subtract 4K for both sides, keeping the equation balanced. Now some people like to say that the positive 4K moves to the other side and becomes a negative 4K. I don't mind if you say that, but mathematically what you're really doing is subtracting the same thing from both sides. 4 and negative 4 and of inverses. So now we have 0K on the right side of the equals. And it's going to look like this. 7K minus 4K is 3K. 4K minus 4K is 0K. So there are no more Ks on the right side of the equals. There is a constant, the number 15. Now we have a one-step equation. 3K equals 15. The coefficient is 3. So what are you going to do? Well, you said divide both sides by 3. K equals 5. And that answer can easily be checked by replacing k in the original equation with the number 5 or working it out on your calculator the way we did in class. The next, next example, 5x minus 2 equals 3x plus 4. Once again, I'm looking at the left, and I don't see any like terms to combine. Remember, I can't put 5x and 2 together because the 2 doesn't have an x. One is a variable term, the other is a constant. If you look on the right-hand side of the equal, same thing. You have a variable term and a constant, so they can't be combined. In that case, we look for variables on the both sides of the equation next. So I see 5x on the left, 3x on the right. I could either subtract 5x from both sides or subtract 3x, and I think I'll do that. When I do, I've got 5x minus 3x on the left. Just looking left to right, 5x with the minus 3x under it, I'm going to bring down the constant, minus 2, and the equals. 3x minus 3x is 0, so x is gone from the right, but 4 is still there. Anything that didn't change for a reason should still be part of your equation. And except for the line where you show what you're doing to both sides, each line of your equation should be a complete equation in itself. By that I mean each line in the, in the work you show. Like this 2x minus 2 equals 4 right here. It's a new shorter equation. So let's solve this two-step equation. What would you do first? So let's have a constant. With a minus sign in front of it on the left, with the variable, you can add two to both sides. That's also called isolating the variable term. And for 
produces a short one-step equation, 2x equals 6. That's the only thing I have left to do. The bottom coefficient. x equals 3. Hopefully, if I've done everything right, is the solution to this equation. All right, here are two more. And I just wanted to point out, now some people really don't like to have variables on the right. I don't care. Variables can be on the left or on the right, as long as you have the x on one side and the number on the other for your last step. And there are also people who don't like to have a negative coefficient. But I don't care which way you do this exercise. Starting with 3x plus 7 equals 5x. If you want to have a positive coefficient, then look for the coefficient that's smaller in the original equation. What are your coefficients here? Hopefully you said 3 and 5. Since 3 is smaller than 5, I'll subtract 3x. And see how I'm lining up the like terms underneath? That's so in the next step I know exactly what to do. 3x minus x is 0. It leaves me with 0 plus 7, which is just 7. 5x minus 3x would be 2x. And I'll bring down the minus 9 because nothing will change that constant yet. Now I have a two-step equation, and I want to get the constants together. So look on the side where the variable is. That means the right, in this case. To get rid of that constant, inverse operation. Remember, when like terms, like this 9 and this 7, are on opposite sides of the equals, that's where you have to do opposite operations to get them together. Get these uh, circles out of the way. Go a little faster now because we've been working on one step equations for quite some time. A equals X. All right, I want to remind you for this other example. When you have like terms on the same side of the equals, you put them together just using your rules for integers. So look at the left, and I'll circle a couple things. I see a 2x, and I'm looking, and I see another x term here. Those two need to be combined. 2x plus 1x is 3x. So I combine like terms. Don't use inverse operations when the like terms are on the same side of the equals. And with this, with this uh, constant here, I've got 7 and a minus 2. Think about what you get when you put those together. It would be positive 5. And just take a quick look at the original equation before continuing. 2x plus 1x is 3x. Plus 7 minus 2 is plus 5. And that's all there was on the left. So equals. And then two constants on the right can also be combined. 15. Now I have a two-step equation. Is constants. So let's look for the constants here. I see a 5 and I see a 15. And the side that has the variable on it, the left, I'm going to leave that variable over there. So what do I need to do? What he says, subtract 5 from both sides. And we get 3x equals 10. And is that all right? Does that mean you did something wrong? Absolutely not. It just means our answer is going to be an improper fraction, and that's okay. You don't even have to change improper fractions to mix numbers in, in an algebra 
unless the instructions say to do so. And that can be checked on the calculator. And uh, it's a lot easier to plug it in on the calculator to see if it works than it is to try to do it any other way. All right, two more examples. And these, these two examples have grouping symbols, parentheses. So I'm going to apply the distributed property here. All right, first example, uh, a lot of people like to say the rainbows here. The two outside the grouping symbols needs to be multiplied by everything inside. So two times y is two y. Remember, you can multiply a constant like two times a variable term like y. It's just two y. You don't have to have like terms to multiply. Two times six is just a constant, 12. Right now, I have a, an equation here where I have two variable terms on opposite sides of the equals. And what I'll do in this case is subtract 2y from both sides. That's not the only way to solve this equation. One reason I'm doing that is because if you notice, I looked ahead a little bit. 3y minus 2y is just y. And I'm finished because I have a coefficient of positive 1 on the variable, a number on the other side, and that's all I have to do. It would also be okay to subtract 3y from both sides, but then you would have to subtract 12 from both sides. It's just a little extra work. It's okay to do it this way. All right, we'll do one more. And since there's nothing to do on the left, I don't see any like terms on the left to define. I'm just going to bring that part down and then look at the right. I see three outside a set of parentheses. There's nothing to compare or nothing to combine or simplify inside the parentheses. So I'll apply the distributive property. I just think of this as multiplying a positive 3 times a positive 1. That's why I get a positive 3 right here. And the minus sign in between, if I'm multiplying positive times negative, I'm going to get a negative. 3 times 2k is 6k. So the right side of the equals is 3 minus 6k. Now, once again, I'm looking for my two variable terms. There's a 2k on the left, minus 6k on the right. Let's get the k's over to the left side of the equals using inverse operations. Why? Because the like terms are on opposite sides. So I have to pick one and do the opposite of what's happening to that variable on that side. So adding 6k to minus 6k We'll make the k terms on the right become zero. On the left, I have 8k, still have minus 5. Now I have 3 minus 0. That's just 3. Two-step equation, what do I do? I add 5 to both sides. 8k equals 8. Divide by the coefficient. Looks like k equals 1. We'll do more in class solving multi-step equations with variables on both sides using the distributive property. Now look through your book starting at page 40 at the examples in the book that are like these and look at some of the other examples in the reading as well.